Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem on Windows 11 operating system. In the first step, simply go to search bar and type in device manager. Then click here to open it. Once we are here, we need to just expand network adapters. So here it is. Expand it and right click on your no network adapter. Select properties then go to drivers tab and select update drivers firstly we will select this icon then the base drivers will be un installed then close this window again click on update drivers select browse my computer then select this one check this and click on next and this will take some time to complete the process once done the windows has successfully updated your drivers so once you get this window just close all windows one by one and move to the next method just go to search bar type in settings and click on network and internet and on this window we need to just scroll down and expand proxy once we are here we need to disable this option then from use setup script click on setup and just keep this disabled click on save and from ma manual proxy setup select this and make sure this is disabled now save this and close this again go to search bar type in settings then go to network and internet once we are here just scroll down and click on advanced network settings then scroll down and select network reset and from network reset we need to click on reset now and select as so the window will be shut down in five minutes before the shutdown we need to execute some commands simply right click here and select task manager then click on run new task then select browse button go to this pc open c drive then open windows folder then we need to open system32 folder and find out cmd.exe file select it and click on open now check this box and click on ok so once we are here we need to execute some commands here simply type in netsh intip reset c colon backslash reset log dot txt and hit enter now type in netsh winsock reset and hit enter then type in ipconfig space slash flush dns then type exit to close the command prompt window once done we need to simply restart your system and your problem will be solved you are good to go